Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to start off this vlog with something fun. Unpackaging a package that I got. Unpackaging a package. Makes total sense. Unpackaging this box that I got. Ordered some new shoes for fall. I've been on like a fall kick right now, just like ordering a bunch of like staples, like boots, like I showed in my last vlog, I got um, some black boots, just like other things like that. I think I'm gonna do like a collective haul, like showing you guys everything that I got for fall. But right now, I just got in one of the other boots that I had ordered. I have always wanted a pair of like white boots. I feel like boots are very hard. Most times I will just like go cheap. Obviously I want to save money, but I've realized like the older that I'm getting makes so much more financial sense to just spend a little bit more money on the nicer thing because it'll last you a lot longer. Most times it's better quality. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Of course I'm gonna, you know, follow the trends and like get a chunky boot that's like cheap. But if I know that it's gonna be like a staple in my wardrobe and I'm gonna wear it every single year, I wanna invest in like a nicer pair. Does that make sense? The trash guy does not want me to be great today. Bruh. Can you hear that? You've got to be kidding me. All right, he stopped. Okay, so long story long, I got a pair of boots from Schutz. Comes with like a little dust bag, which is nice for like traveling. Could put those in there. Ooh, they look cute. I got them in this white crocodile print that is, oh my God, killer. Okay, we gotta try these on and see how they fit. I always like to order half size up in all of my boots. When you wear boots, you wear them with like socks. So you want a little bit more room. Oh, so cute. Yes, let me angle you down. Cute, right? Especially with shorts, I feel like would look cute too. I love how they go up on the sides versus the front. I feel like the sides, they're more like high fashion when they go up the side versus the front. I don't know. These are so cute. I love the pointed toe. They don't have a zip. You definitely have to wear like thinner socks with this, but they feel really comfy. They don't hurt. So cute. Love these with an all white outfit. Are you kidding? Very happy with that purchase. may need someone to help you get those off, but those are really cute. Oh. oh my God. Are my feet just like super sweaty or something? Like what's happening? That was a little bit difficult to get off. New boot check. We love. So now I am going to make some lunch. I have been filming all morning. It's Friday. If I did not mention that, I took the Friday, today, and Monday off because I needed to take some PTO at work. So I just figured why not take a Friday and Monday off? That way I get a longer weekend and I also get time to film. I've been trying to get some stuff filmed and there's no way that I can do it during the week when I'm working. It's just like not possible. Like, okay, well I have to take time off. I might as well do it and get some work done. I think we're gonna also try to get my ear pierced this weekend. I know in the last vlog I didn't have an appointment so I couldn't get it pierced, but I'm gonna go to an actual piercing shop Sunday and get my ear pierced. So I'm super excited about that. And then I also have a swimming lesson tomorrow. Oh, and Tyler and I are going to dinner tonight at this really cute restaurant that has been on my list forever. <laughs> later i decided to shower and take all of my makeup off i was just feeling like kind of crusty i don't know if it was like changing 10 million times the fact that it was like so hot today really don't like to wear makeup more than like three to four hours four hours is even pushing it for me i had finished doing my makeup i think since like 11 a.m and it was 
what is it? It's five now. So it's like five hours of like crusty makeup. I just wanted to like take it off. Then we're going to dinner tonight. I was just gonna keep it on, but I kind of just felt like my like my face felt crusty. Whenever you do it, I normally never do this. Like I will never redo my makeup. Like if I have it on, I either take it off and go bare face or I will just leave it on and say F it. Like I won't even try to touch it up, but it was just looking like not. I was not feeling it, so I'm like, redoing it, it is. I took time to eat lunch, watch some YouTube videos, plan a little outline for a video that I'm gonna film tomorrow before my swim lesson. So I got basically everything that I needed to do done. I'm like, whatever, like I'll just shower, get clean, and then do it again so that it's a little bit more fresh. I feel much better with like a fresh face of makeup versus like, crusty five hour old makeup. Poured myself a little bit of wine. My friend Andrea came over last night and we watched show, we ordered Thai food and then we had some leftover wine from last night. So I'm just gonna drink that before I go out. Doing my makeup and having a drink, it's like me time. Like I freaking love it. <laughs> show you guys a little hack that I have been doing not really a hack but like a new way that I've been doing my makeup I don't know if I've shared this before maybe I have I have been using a primer which sounds like revolutionary I know but typically I don't use primers I just kind of go in with like moisturizer I'll use like my skincare um, I'll let my skincare act as like a primer, so to say, but I've been actually using an actual primer. This one is the Acne Fighting Putty Primer from e.l.f. and I really love their putty line. It's kind of like a green color. I think it's supposed to combat redness. It comes with a little spoon, so you just kind of like scoop it up and then it has a brush applicator on the end. So I'll scoop up some of the product and I'll mainly focus this on like my cheek areas, that's where my pores are the biggest. And I find that my makeup applies so much better and it looks a lot better because this just kind of like fills it in and also has like acne fighting ingredients so I don't break out as much. I kind of just like go like that very lightly. You know it kind of looks crazy now, but I kind of take like maybe like a minute or two to really like blend this in, really make sure that all my pores are filled. And like I said, my makeup just applies so much better um, I like to go in with this foundation that I also talked about before. It is my ride or die. This is Sephora Best Skin Ever. I'm in the shade 50N. Um, I'll have all the products linked down below, by the way. And it's just like a winning combination together. They just work so well. I love this. So I really just like work this in. Again, I focus on my cheeks. I'll bring the rest on my nose. My makeup just looks so much more flawless because all my pores are filled in. Should have known that primer does this, but I feel like because this specifically is like acne fighting, it works well with my skin. I have super oily acne prone skin, so makeup like really clogs up my pores. So this just like stops it and then it gives it like a nice slick base. So anything left, I'll just kind of put it everywhere else, but I'll really focus it on my cheek area. And then I'll go in with this foundation. I love it. It's literally like your best skin ever. And I'll do like a pump. I'll apply it with this Tarte. It's like a kabuki brush. Not kabuki. Is that what it's called? Like a buffing brush. And I feel like you have to use a... Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> the foundation went on my... I was like, where did it go? Oh, that's so bad. I gotta get that out. I feel like you have to use a like buffing brush with this foundation because it just like smooths everything out. It makes it like so much more flawless, I feel like in my opinion. Like you could totally use a sponge and that would look just as good, I'm sure. But I feel like the buffing brush really just like buffs everything out and it makes sure that you're not using too much product. Like you can use a lot of product really quickly. Like I can go a little bit overboard, especially me. Like I love a full face. I like full coverage, everything. Um, but with the brush, it just makes it like so much easier for it to stay a little bit more on the natural side, which that's the whole point of this is you're not looking for like a full, full coverage. Otherwise I would just use like my hourglass 
um, foundation sticks, but I like this for more like not high um, high flash photos like if I were going to a wedding I'd use something a little bit more full coverage, but This is kind of like my everyday every time I do makeup I use this. It's so good. I normally don't get it on my my robe, but It's the first time for everything So good. I love it Okay, I should get this out of my robe. Okay, I think I got it out without causing too big of a stain. Oops. Original, fucking on me, high grade, sipping on my liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Okay, another tip that I have for makeup, I've just been in a tip sharing mood, um, is for blush, I love to place it on the apples of my cheek, obviously, I think that works the best on my face. Then I also like to bring it up just a little bit just to elevate and like bring up the cheekbones. And then what I'll do is, once I'm done with that and I feel like I have enough color on my face, I like to dab the rest on my nose. And I feel like this gives your face a little bit more of like, a flushed look like it just brings a little bit more life back into your nose like you have a little bit of like a light sunburn not too burnt because obviously like that's not cute but just like a little bit of color it kind of connects everything i don't know if there's like a technical reason why that is i'm not a makeup artist but i find that that looks really good so just do that i also like to bake underneath and i'll do it along my smile line so when you smile that's where the line goes so really just cut that contour oh, i love blush i'm done with my makeup this is how it turned out it looks so much better than how it looked earlier. I went for a little bit more of like a smokier, just a little bit, not too much. By smokier, I mean a little bit more concentrated um, eyeshadow. It really looks the same, but it looks less crusty and a little bit more fresh, which I feel a lot better about. So I put my blazer on. Um, I'll show you guys my full outfit once I'm in front of the mirror, but I'm gonna take my wrap off so that i can blend in my hairline from doing my makeup i always do this as a last step so i'll take my little kabuki brush and i'll kind of just like pat my hairline because this is the part that's covered just to make sure that that part has some foundation on it and then i'll go in with my bronzer this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer you guys know if you've been following my channel for a while that this is like one of my favorite bronzers ever i discovered it last fall and it is so good it's like the perfect bronze um it just makes you look like a glowing goddess i'll show you um once i'm finished but i'm just trying to do this really quick get my hairline Sure that we don't look crazy. So I need to do my lips too. Actually, should probably do that. Mm. Okay, let me do my lips. Okay. I really don't deviate much from my lip products. I use the same thing every single time. It's Kylie's um, lip kit in brown sugar. Oh, the lighting just got a lot better. Um, and then I'll use the matte lipstick as well, and then I'll top it with the gloss. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's really simple. I kind of just always do a nude lip. I feel like it looks classic, and I like the way that it looks. So I'll line my lips with the liner first. Just like that. I'll go in with the matte lipstick and I'll mainly focus this on the inside where my lip color is a little bit different and I don't like to do the whole lip because I don't want it to be like 
I want it to, I want my lips to look as natural as possible, you know what I mean? So I don't want a full lipstick out lip. I just want it to be all one color. So I have like uh, a neutral base to work off of and then I'll put gloss so that it kind of looks like natural. I don't know. There's no method to this madness. I just do it because that's what I find works for me. Top it with this gloss. I've been really liking this one. This is the Wet n Wild Honey Be Mine. It's just like a clear gloss, but it's all brown because I only use this for when I put on lipstick. You gotta kind of wait for it to dry before you go in. Otherwise you're gonna move all of the product. So I'll do that. And then I won't rub, I'll just like pat. I love a really glossy lip, it's my favorite. TikTok. Okay, here's the finish finish makeup. See, I blended in my hairline, put on the lip gloss. Oh my god, I'm so happy I redid my makeup because it looks so much better. Ooh, yes. Okay, love that. Love that. Grab my makeup because I think Tyler needs to come in here. Then we're gonna put on our shoes and then I'll show you guys the full outfit. Oh, because that's loud. Stormy. Mommy's lying, baby. Okay, here's the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing. Showed these in the last vlog. These are my first time wearing them out. I just got them yesterday. Of course, this is my first time. Um, and I got them from The Real Real. If you guys didn't watch the last vlog, go watch it. I unboxed these. These are Jimmy Choo knee-high boots. I got them secondhand. I wanted a good pair of black boots because these are like a great fall staple. I didn't have a pair. I was looking for just like new ones because obviously I would rather buy a brand new shoe. They were all super expensive. Not super expensive, but just like more expensive than this. And I was like, okay, I can spend $100 less and get these boots that are, you know, real leather, high quality, comfortable, and I'm extending the life of this shoe. Whereas like I could buy a brand new shoe and then throw it away after a year, you know? It's just more conscious, I feel like. That's how I justify the purchase. But we're gonna put these on. I have some socks just so that they don't stink. So let me put those on. Here is the full outfit. Have the green blazer, the boots, have some biker shorts underneath for safety. I featured this look in my blazers video that I did styling blazers and I think this is so cute just for like a little night out. It is a little bit, I mean not really chilly but it's been overcast today so I think this is like the perfect little outfit. And for jewelry, I have on all of my Lily Clasp jewelry. This one is like a bunch of CZ diamonds and emeralds. This one is from Ana Luisa and then this one is also from Lily Clasp. And I like this because it kind of like dangles down a little bit. It's kind of like a mix between masculine and feminine. So I like that. And then got some jewelry there. That's a look. having 
some coffee, doing some um, editing. I'm working on some thumbnails for some upcoming videos. I am gonna get ready to film actually a video before my swim lesson. My swim lesson's at 2.30. It's 9.30 right now, so I have about nine five hours to skincare video and for my skincare videos i always like to kind of like be bare face i feel like when you have makeup on in a skincare video you're, you're not really able to see like okay does this person actually know what they're talking about not that i claim to be a professional but i just feel like it it feels more like a skincare video when you have um no makeup on let me know what your thoughts are like do you like watching skincare videos when the person has makeup on or when they don't have makeup on let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to see what you think. Yeah, I'm just gonna film that in a little bit. I'm working on some thumbnails. Dinner was really good. If you've never been to that place, it's called Fia. It's in Santa Monica. It was really good. Only thing was that it was a little bit pricey. Um, so definitely be prepared for that. Like when we go out on dates and to dinner, we know that we're gonna be spending money, but that place was a little expensive for what it was. But I had a few espresso martinis. I actually tried for the first time an espresso martini with my friend Andrea. We went out um, on like a little girl's night and I had never tried one before. She's like, okay, you will love it. And I tried it and I really liked it. And I wasn't sure if I would like it with my food because I feel like it's kind of like a sweeter, like after food, like, Typically after dinner people will like have a coffee so I felt like maybe after I would like it Especially since we were like ordering fish and stuff, but it was actually pretty good. I ordered two. So yeah, it was really good <laughs> I didn't get a picture of my outfit. I'm so sad. So I'll have to rewear it again <laughs> Anytime I don't get pictures of my outfits I'm just like well, I guess I'm gonna outfit repeat which that's fine with me. So I'm gonna do some editing, do some work before I have to film. I'm just kind of have a slow morning. I wish I could stay, but the seasons are changing. I'm gone. All right, I just finished filming my skincare video. It should be up probably after this or before. I'm not sure if it's already up. I will link it down below or in the cards. If not, it'll be up soon. I need to clean up a little bit. I have not a huge mess because I wasn't trying on clothes, but I have a little bit of a mess on the floor that I need to clean up. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch um, because I don't think we have anything to eat here. I'm not sure what I can make. I don't really wanna order food because I'm gonna eat after the pool. I still have like two hours before my swim lesson and I'm gonna have to bike there. So I probably should eat something, but then I'm gonna drink after. This is my dilemma, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we'll figure it out. I love this little um, vest. I think I showed this in uh, another vlog this is the vest from Zara and I just have the same lily class jewelry I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this like literally oh my god I need to catch it in the Sun look at it in the Sun oh my god it's so beautiful you guys if you are into jewelry like me like you will love lily clasp I feel like I need to like do Maybe like an IGTV or something. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I probably will still do it, but I feel like I need to do like an IGTV of like all of my Lily Clasp jewelry because I feel like it is so good. Quality so good. It's just like really pretty jewelry. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. But I love it with this little vest. I showed this in another vlog, but I picked this up from uh, Zara. It still has a tag because I just wanted to wear it for the video. Um, and I totally would not wear it with biker shorts, but I need to buy some white trousers to go with it. If you watch the other vlog, you know the trousers that I bought with this were a fail. This and this is like a cute, like little summer to fall transitional outfit. I think it's so cute. I think you need to do outfits, fall outfit ideas video and include this. I need to order some, order some things. I'll probably clean up. Let's do that. Happy reps. <laughs> yeah. I done caught a wave at a young age. Niggas getting paid doing dumb things. 
Make a little money and they act strange All these girls really want one thing I like them just like my coffee All of these girls got a star like this. Happy Sunday I am off this morning to my ear piercing appointment I'm finally gonna get my third hole pierced And I may get a helix, we'll see I think I wanna ask them like what the recovery is, aftercare, if it's something that is gonna be like a huge headache to take care of, I don't know that I want it. I know this hurts a lot. So I kinda wanna also ask them some questions just about like the pain and all of that because I have the lowest pain tolerance ever. Not exactly sure if I'm gonna get that piercing yet, but we will see. But I had some lip balm, but I don't. I guess I'm just gonna have to use some lip gloss because my lips are a little bit chapped. We're off. It's gonna take me. I'm gonna find parking. Gotta do all the things. So let's go. I also realized that I didn't um, film much from my swim lesson yesterday, and that's because I had to go by myself. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, thank you, Siri. Normally, I'll have Tyler film me when I'm doing my swim stuff, but he wasn't here. He was hanging out with one of his friends yesterday. I just kind of had to go by myself. I biked there and then after my lesson my friend Carly picked me up and we went to a bar to watch the UCLA game. I think we won. I should know this. I was there but I had like three gin and tonics so I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> and then me and Tyler had like a little like date night kind of like cheap date night. There's this whoops there's this bar nearby where we live and so we went had a few espresso martinis and then actually went to McDonald's and like got some cheap food and it was actually uh, amazing <laughs> like it was so nice it's gonna kind of be a chill day other than me going to get my ear piercing it'll be chill for the most part but I also want to see if I can I also want to see if I can make a little trip out to Home Goods because I haven't been to Home Goods in a long time. I feel like I've like gotten over the Home Goods itch. I used to be obsessed. I would go all of the time, but I feel like the things at Home Goods, they just don't turn me on. You know what I mean? Sometimes like you go and it's like, eh. I don't know, the stuff is just like, it, it's not hitting anymore. It used to hit so much, I used to go like every other day, but now I just feel like I'm kind of over the home goods style. My home style's kind of evolving past that, like more like vintage, things like that. So, I don't know, but I do wanna go and just see if I can find anything. So, we may do that after. It's kind of like a me day. Tyler's at the Rams game, so I am just on my own. I'm really just gonna be doing whatever the hell I wanna do today. <laughs> I got so pissed getting ready this morning. My appointment's at 12. I thought that Tyler had took the key. I don't have a car, this is Tyler's car. And I thought he took the key with him to the game. I couldn't find it. So I was like, freak, like I wanted to go to Home Goods. I need to go to my appointment. Like there's a lot of things that I need to do. And I thought that, sorry, I thought that he had the key. And I called him and I'm like, where's the key? Like, where's the car key? And he's like, ah, uh, look at my shorts, look at my laundry, and I couldn't find it. And so I thought I had to Uber, but luckily I found it in one of his shorts. So I was like so pissed for like five minutes. I'm like, freak, but crisis averted. He's alive for one more day. So I'm gonna focus on driving and following the directions, but I'll see you at my piercing appointment. I don't know where to begin. Could be the curves on your body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah, uh -huh. baby girl, I'm trying to get with you. Come, let me see what we get into. It don't even gotta be physical. As long as that pretty face visible. Yeah. The ears are pierced. Here's what we ended up getting. I got my third hole, and then I got a helix piercing, and I think the actual like little earring is so cute. It's like really, really pretty. And then we ended up doing it in between my second hole because 
um, my second hole was actually like a little bit farther out than it was on this side so he was like we can either do it in between your second hole and then your second will become your third or we can do it farther out and it'll just be a lot more space I decided against that because I felt like it was gonna be too far out and then I would have to get like a fourth piercing It just was like too much space in between so we did it in between the second so now my second's my third and then here is like a true third right here and then the little helix which I love my ears are throbbing right now so I hope that it doesn't hurt for too much longer um I'm hungry, but I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods and then I'll go back home and get some food. I have some other errands to run, so let's go see what's popping off at Home Goods. starving so I'm eating my leftover chicken nuggets and let me say it is not good the next day they're like all limpy I'm heating up some lentil soup while I wait for that I needed to eat this because I'm so hungry oh my god all right I'm gonna do a little home goods haul and show what I picked up there were obviously went to home goods was not expecting to get anything I wasn't expecting the selection to be good I just like I said I have been like unimpressed with home goods lately it's just hasn't been hitting the same but I did pick up some of these cool little margarita glasses have been kind of on like my glassware wish list forever I feel like they're like like the quintessential margarita glass. Any city that has an old town with a Mexican food restaurant, I feel like they serve in these glasses and it's just, it's very authentic to me. So I got four of those. One of them actually was um, $4.99. These are all, these were all $3.99. This one was actually $4.99. I don't know why, because it's the exact same glass. So I said, oops, not sure. Why does that tag? Cause like, why why am I gonna pay one more dollar when it's the same price? Whatever. Sue me, it's a dollar. So I got four of those, I'm very excited. They have these also at World Market, but I think they're, I'm not sure if they're the same price or not. I'll link some similar ones to these down below in the description box. I feel like we're gonna have to make a margarita tonight just because I wanna break those in. And then I got some candles because we are out of all of our candles. My one here on the coffee table, that one's done. The one in the bathroom's done. So we needed some new candles. I like to have candles in the living room, the kitchen, and the bathroom. Um, this one, I love the color. Obviously, you guys know I'm obsessed with green right now. And this one is an oak wood moss and eucalyptus. This smells like a man to me. I don't know what it is, but it smells very masculine. I just love the smell I went back and forth so many times like do I want to get it do I not like is it too manly but I feel like this smells so good this will be perfect in like an office so I think once I get a desktop computer style up my desk a little bit more I may put this and like style it on top of like some like coffee table books this one I thought could go well in the kitchen this is white sage and bergamot and I loved how simple it was. It has this little, what type of wick is that? What do you call that? Wooden wick, duh. It has a wooden wick and I thought this would go really cute in the kitchen next to the sink. I wanna get some like amber glasses for like hand soap and stuff to go by the sink as well. And I think it would look really pretty just with like the simple writing. So I got that. And then the last one is over here. This is the last one that I got. It's amber and oud and i liked the brown color i think it would oh my gosh tanisha no idiot 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 ah! i did not no i did not 
spill the barbecue sauce on the floor. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No, 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 no. I did not spill this on the carpet. And I'm out of Polex. I my life. All right, crisis averted. Hoy, day. All right. Oh, that made me hot. That's the second time I've spilled something on this carpet. Thank God it's so easy to clean. Oh my God. Okay, anyway, show and tell is about to be over because I'm stressed over that. This is the last candle that I got. It's just amber and oud, and I liked that it was brown, kind of matches the tones of the living room. And it smells like very like, also like masculine, but kind of calming. I don't know, I realize I like masculine scents. That's everything that I got from Home Goods. Not that much. Um, oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm so hungry, I need to eat. I'm trying not to spill this on the carpet anymore. Terrible. So this day has taken an interesting turn sitting on the floor outside of my dorm. Why? Because I decided to do laundry and lock myself up. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. Thank God Tyler's keys are at his friend's house. His friend is driving them over to me. At least I'll be in. If his keys weren't there, I would have been sitting out here for four hours or scaling the side of my building to go through the window. Here's my ratchet little trying to break in with my bobby pin. Thank God for Brian. He brought me Tyler's keys. Now I'm in. <sighs> All right. <laughs> now that I'm back from being locked out, thank God for our friend Brian. Tyler left his keys at um their house so he was able to bring me tyler's set of keys thank god otherwise i would have been locked out still <laughs> but i have just been relaxing i ate lunch obviously got back into the apartment i am going to do some outfit planning for a video that i'm going to film tomorrow so tomorrow's monday and i still have one more day off so i'm trying to get as much youtube work done as i can filming a fun video with Target that I need to put all the clothing items together. So I have all of the items from Target. I am styling them with a little like, you know, like accessories and stuff from my own closet just to show you how I would wear them. Um, but I wanna start like putting the actual outfits together so tomorrow that I can just like film. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have this rack here, kinda just used for like organizing either new clothes or clothes that I wanna film. So I'm gonna do that now, just kind of like start styling some outfits. Let go. Yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah. It's the original Batman. One time, one time, it's a bad man thing. It's body, baby. V kills. Let's go. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. Stand up. Hey guys, it's. Monday. I think this is going to be the last day of this vlog, but I just finished filming a little video. I think it should be live. I'm not sure. I'm filming so much in this like four days that I've been off. There goes the trash can. Um, but if it's live, I will definitely link it. I just filmed a really fun video for Target and I got a package that I wanted to share. So. Let's open up this package. It's from e.l.f. Very exciting. This is e.l.f. skin. Got delivered this morning. I was like, I didn't order anything. What? What is going on? Ooh, e.l.f. skin for the win. Cool. Everything got a little shifted, 
but this is basically what it looks like. There is some Holy Grail hydration products. So a sleeping mask, a moisturizer, and then a face cream, the cannabis sleeping mask. Ooh, there's a facial oil and then like a little jade roller. Thank you, Elf, if you're watching this. Thank you so much. I love them. They make great stuff. You guys know I'm, I'm all about the affordable skincare. It's a game changer. And I don't know where my phone is. Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. It's 3 p.m. I haven't eaten anything, so I definitely need to eat. I need to edit and just like take a little chill pill because I've been go, go, go for the past three hours. So I think we're gonna heat up some soup and eat something. I'm gonna like clean up and put all of this stuff away. You guys, <laughs> I have been sitting here editing for a little bit and I just got very exciting package. Oh my God, okay. So I was like wondering like who is shipping me something from China? But I actually ordered these shoes from Goat, I believe, maybe like two, three weeks ago? I'm not sure. I feel like every single vlog I'm like unboxing something new, but. Now, I will say, some people may not be into these. Tyler was definitely not a fan, but I think they're so cute. They are the New Balance, what are they called? New Balance 550 in white and green. I've seen these all over Instagram and Pinterest. Oh, I wish I had these for my video. These would be so cute. The original versions with the designer Amy Door Green or something like that is her name. They're like $1,000. And I found these, the only difference is they have like a gray tip, but I think they're super cute. Let's try them on. Let's see. Ordered them in a size five men's. Oh, these fit perfect. Tyler's gonna be like, what the heck? What do we think? You guys know I'm obsessed with green for the fall. And these have lots of green on them. But I think it's like a wearable green. They definitely need some socks on there, but how cute. I think these are gonna be like my new fall sneaker. I needed some new ones because the only ones that I have are the Air Force Ones. And so these will be nice, like, Aaron's shoes. So cute. Oh, I love those. Love. Okay, I just finished showering. I took all my makeup off. Like I said, I cannot wear makeup for that long. Like, after a few hours, it just has to come off. So I took a shower, washed my face. It feels so good. Um, I'm gonna do a little mask, but before that I'm gonna do just a little BHA exfoliant. This is from Notorium. This is the latest BHA exfoliant that I've been trying and so far it's really good. It's super affordable and I like to just use this mostly on the perimeter because I'm gonna do a little face mask actually so I don't want the face mask to counteract with the exfoliant. Doing like a tiny bit and whatever extra. My face has been the clearest it's been in so long. I think I filmed my updated, yeah I did. I did film an updated skincare routine for morning, but I think I need to do one for night just to show you guys like what products I've been using because my face has been really, really good. It's been good to me. After that, I'm gonna do a little charcoal mask. I like to use this after I have makeup on and just on like spa nights. So I'm gonna do a little mask. This one's from Origins. Charcoal masks are really good if you have oily skin. It just kind of like soaks up all the oil. It's good for acne prone skin. So I like to use this maybe like once, once or twice a week. Hold on, I'm running out of space. All right, there we go. I had to delete a few clips. Whenever I just need like a little TLC on my skin, I like to focus it like mainly in my T-zone. That's where I get the most oily. And then on my cheeks, I get really oily right here. So I'm just gonna do some here. 
I know what Tyler's complaining about. And then I'm gonna bring it on this pimple because I've had a pimple right there that's just, she needs got to go. Bring it a little down too. This is really messy. This is not like a actual mask night. It's just, I wore makeup today and I want to clear up my pores. That's really it. That's where I focus in. I am gonna just like chill out for the rest of the night. I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm just as I relax. Probably gonna make dinner and maybe watch some housewives, figure it out. But I know this vlog is super long already. I haven't even started editing it. I just know like four days, there's like, I'm sure this vlog is already 40 minutes long. So I'm sorry if it's that long or you're welcome if you love long vlogs. So I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and yeah, good night.